Today we're going to talk about the ultimate two-back offense. When I first started coaching, we had three wide receivers and two running backs, and I wanted to run the air raid offense, but I had no idea what to do. I couldn't put in my fourth wide receiver because he was a slappy, and I was taking one of my best players off the field. So I racked my brain, what can we do? Then I got this, an idea to do a formation and a series that the air raid actually uses, and it's the two-back formation. And today, we are gonna be getting into the ultimate two-back formation. We're gonna go over runs, we're gonna go over passes, we're gonna go over motions, we're gonna do all of that. So buckle in, strap in, let's do this. Formations. Now, the formations are two-back. That means two wide receivers to one side, one wide receiver to the other, and two in the back. Here's an example of it. As you can tell, we have two wide receivers right here, we have one right there, and then we have two running backs, boom and boom. This is, if it's to the left, it's blue, okay? And when you have the two wide receivers to the right, it's green. All right, so to the two receiver side, if we want him to go to the two receiver side, the F, which is right here, we're gonna say fast. And fast means you go fast as possible to the two wide receiver side. Now the symbol for that is fast. So green, fast. That is saying, hey, the F is gonna go fast to the two wide receiver. The other one is free. Free is this, like I am chained up and it's free. And all that does is put the F free to the same side, this way. So free is to the same side, fast is to the two receiver side. Those are the only two motions that we have in the ultimate two back offense. Run plays. Now there's only two run plays, counter and pin and pull. And the reason for that is we want this to be as simple as possible and counter is the easiest thing, especially if you're coming from the wing tee to the spread. And the same thing with the uh, pin and pull. Now there's two ways you can run the counter and I'm gonna diagram them for you right now. You have counter with no motion and what that will do is I actually think of it as counter divide where you have the second running back go across and kick out the end so there's nobody that you gotta read and you can do whatever you want with the wide receivers on the back end or you actually have the counter with the motion, and this is what it kind of looks like. If you use the fast motion, then that tells the quarterback he is reading the end, because there's no one there to block him. So if you do the counter divide, there's no read for the quarterback. If you do the fast and normal counter, then there is a read for the quarterback. And that's a very big distinction that you have to talk to your quarterbacks with. It's totally up to you. What we do is we install it one way, the counter fast, with the motion and have uh, our quarterback read the end. And then we tag the counter divide or kick whenever we want to kick out that end. That's one way. Whatever works for you, just stick with the teaching process and do it. The second and last run that we actually install in the ultimate two bag is the pin and pull. And it's very simple. Again, you have two ways you can do it. And I'm gonna draw them up for you. You can have it with no motion so that you have an extra lead blocker when you're running it to the boundary. That's usually where we like to run it. And you're reading this backside linebacker right here. So if he flows over, you pull and throw. If he stays, then you just hand off or you do it with motion. This is what it would look like. You put the motion in, now you lose someone on the edge blocking for safety, rotating down or something like that. But what you accomplish with this is you make it look just like it's counter because you have the motion, you usually throw the bubble to that motion, boom, now you have an if-then built in. So those are the two runs that you use for that. Screens. Now screens, you really just have two. The first one, the quick screen. In this, we call this the common, and it's a very simple screen to do, and it's based off of the motion. Let me show you. The beautiful thing about this screen is you can attach it to any of your runs, the counters or the pin and pull. I have it drawn up here with the pin and pull, and you were just telling the guy, the quarterback, to throw the screen, and you can do that very simply. What we would do is we would clap. Whenever we clap, that tells the quarterback, that alerts them, hey, whatever I got called, I am automatically throwing that key screen. And we call that the comment. The reason why is because I stole it straight from Noel Mazzoni, the guru. And this is a way that if your quarterback's not throwing that comment and you want him to throw it, you were telling him, hey buddy, I don't care what you see. When I clap, you're throwing that comment. The second is the slow running back screen. And the slow running back screen is just the chef's kiss when it comes to it because it ties into everything. It can tie into your run game. It can tie into your quick screens. It can tie into your drop back. Anything that you wanna do, the slow running back screen is the Swiss army knife of screens. And I'm gonna draw it up right now off of that comment action that I just did, so watch this. The slow running back screen is tagged to the comment and you can teach it one of two ways. The first way is you can have the quarterback actually read it. Hey, we go motion, if no one goes out there, 
throw the screen. If someone goes out there, then come back and throw the slow running back screen. Or you can just have it like, hey, when I call this, you're just throwing the slow running back screen. Here are the key points. The tackles lock out no matter where we go to the right or to the left. The guards, he's got the sidewalk, anything from the hash to the outside. The center always has the alleyway, which we say the hash inside. And then the backside guard, in this case, the left guard will have the rat kill, meaning anybody that's coming behind, try to tackle the running back from behind, you're just gonna kill that. The backside guard, this is a highlight thing for you. That is how you can treat it. Hey, listen, you're gonna find somebody and I want you to just smack them in the face like they just stole your last piece of cheesecake. Okay, the offensive linemen should know that because they're big fatties. The key coaching point for the running back is this. You go across and then you count 1,001 behind the uh, play side guard and then you backpedal. Backpedaling is very important. You want the running back to backpedal. I can't stress that enough. That is what you do. Quarterback, you're gonna backpedal and then you're gonna drift too. So if the guy's to my right, I'm gonna drift to the right and just, it's gotta be a catchable ball. Don't overcomplicate this. Just tell your quarterback, hey, you're backpedaling, you're dumping it off. That is it. And this is what we call it. To the right is Rose, to the left is Linda. That simple. Rose, like I'm smelling a rose. Linda, please don't judge me. Boobies. That is what we did it. So right here, this would be green, bass, rose. That's all it is, right there. Quick game. Now the only quick game that you really need for this is stick. And I'm gonna show you two ways you can run stick with motion and without. And the reason why I like stick is because it ties into how you run the pin and pull. This is the ultimate two back offense. We want everything to fold in and make sense and less teaching more reps. That is the magical thing. And here is stick. So without any motion, this is what we got from left to right. The L has got a mandatory outside release vertical. That's called an MOR mandatory outside release. The Y has the stick concept, and what we teach is just four steps, straight ahead, turn around. That's it, don't overcomplicate this. One, two, three, turn around on the fourth. The tailback has a shoot route. We like the shoot because it forces that corner to make a decision. Am I gonna drop back or am I gonna come up? When you run a swing that lets the corner sink back and it doesn't force him into a position because he could rally if he throw it back. You're throwing a swing five yards behind the line of scrimmage. That corner is taught, hey, I'm gonna let them catch it in front of me and then I'll rally. Whereas the shoot, if you attack the line of scrimmage, that corner is like, oh shit, someone is in my area. I need to make a decision and you help your quarterback out tremendously. On the backside, you've got a hitch by the R and that's a, that's a give me. If that is guy is backed up six yards or more, this corner right here, then I am gonna throw that hitch all the time. If that corner is pressed up, I'm not gonna throw it. So that's, that's that. And then the F is running a shoot route on arrow. You can kind of do a couple of things with this. You can keep the back end if you want to block. Doesn't matter, but this is the base way. Now how we run it with the motion, I'm gonna show you that right now. Hey, real quick, if you like this and you wanna go even further into the two back, I actually have a course. It is it is an amazing course. It talks about everything. You have practice plans. You have emails that walks you through everything. It is a totally deep dive PhD for this offense. No stone left unturned. If you would like that, I'm running a special right now. It's half off. All you have to do, click the link in the description, and it'll take you right there. Now let's get back into it. With the motion, the only thing that changes is what you do with this tailback. Is he gonna stay in? Is he gonna just block? Is he gonna go across and do something? This is where you can put your own little fingerprint on it. What I like is to have him block and then you can tag, you can actually tag this to the slow running back screen, which we did earlier. But nothing changes for the quarterback in his progression. He's reading the guy head up the slightly outside of that Y. If he flies out, you bang the stick. If he sits in, you throw the uh, swing route. And you wanna teach it just like how Mummy does to swing the stick. Just drill that in your quarterback's mind swing the stick over and over again and this would be a great play and notice the formation and how it looks like because now it's almost the same thing as the pin and pull the only difference is this guy right here is running a slant instead of a hitch same type of general area for your quarterback so he knows what to read it works well you can tag team these things and you can have more reps drop back the only drop back pass you need is the Y cross. Why? It matches up with stick, with your pin and pull, and it is something that will attack defenses depending on what they do. So I'm gonna show you the only way you actually need to run it. You can run it many different ways with no motion or whatever, but my favorite way to run it is with motion, and I'm gonna show you why. This is Y cross with the motion. It is so nasty because it times up perfectly, as you can tell from the diagram, 
with stick and with the pin and pull. And all you're teaching your quarterback, and this is the easiest way, is you're starting with a single wide receiver and you're going single, middle, backside. That's it. Single, middle, backside. Or you can teach it this way. I know this is how uh, Tony Franklin teaches it. Right, middle, left. If you're doing this way or if it was green, it would be left, middle, right. You want to train your quarterback's eyes to look this way. With this motion, what it does it is it affects both this man right here and this man right here. You may get some spinning action with the motion, which you can take your shot. This is the easiest drop back class you can run because it works so well. And you can tag a lot of things with it. You can tag this guy on a post. You can tag the slow running back screen here. You can get as freaking unbelievably complicated as you want with this or as simple. I would advise it to go simple. So that is the pass. Now, if again, want to tag or do anything you can but take this you can install it anywhere you want with any offense that you want wing t single wing air raid flex bone doesn't matter have this in there and if you like that again i can't stress this enough you're gonna love this video right here